Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly show where I share some of the most interesting news in gaming. This week we'll dive into the PC release of Final Fantasy XV, the announcement for the release of Detroit Become Human, PS Plus games for the month of March, the reveal of Overwatch's latest character, and some very interesting announcements by the ESRB in regards to microtransactions. This is Game Byte. So first up, let's talk about some upcoming games. First up, we have Final Fantasy XV for the PC, releasing March 6th, which actually isn't the news, we've known that for a while, but the news is that the preload for the game is now active. Originally released on console, it is now available on Steam for $49. It looks to be a solid port of the game many loved on console, and it even includes all of the post-release content like the Season Pass and the multiplayer expansion. I sadly skipped out on this on console, but I think I'm going to have to pick it up now because it really does look even more stunning. The next bit of release date news is for the hotly anticipated Detroit Become Human. The PS4 exclusive mystery adventure game now has an official release date of May 25th. So that's just a few short months until we can take the role of a few different androids and experience the world from their perspective. I have to say I'm very deeply fascinated with this game and can't wait to see what happens. Will the androids rise up and take over Detroit or will everyone live happily ever after? You may just get a say in it. And speaking of PlayStation, the PS Plus games for March have officially been announced and we have yet another incredible month. We start with Ratchet and Clank, the remake or reimagine or reboot, whatever they're calling it. I was a pretty big Ratchet and Clank fan back in the day, so I might just have to pick this one up. Anyways, the next game is, if you can believe it, Bloodborne. I'm super excited to finally dive into this. I've sort of missed out on the whole Demon Soul Bloodborne craze. And if you're like me, we won't have to miss out for much longer. Both games, of course, completely free for PS Plus members, will be available March 6th. Next up, we have an announcement from Bethesda that they will be holding their own press conference yet again ahead of E3. This year, it's landing on June 10th, and it marks the third year in a row that they're doing this event. Now, unfortunately, not much is known about what they're going to be covering, but the invitation to the event itself features some familiar Bethesda characters and a pop-up craft-style cityscape. The invite features double doors concealing a glowing light inside, so maybe it's hinting at a brand new IP, or maybe just a brand new game in some capacity. VR ports are cool and all, but come on, it's about time for something new. I know you've been working on Elder Scrolls 6, let's see it. Anyways, wishful thinking aside, let's move on to some dreams that have come true, and that is a new character for Overwatch. Of course, this is in follow-up to the story from last week where we got some hints and teases about a new character coming very soon. Well, we were all surprised earlier this week to say hello to Brigitte Lindholm. Yes, that's Torbjorn's daughter, the one we saw in that short with Reinhardt. She plays the support role and has some very useful tank-like influences, which make things pretty interesting. Like she has a barrier shield you can bash people with, a rocket flail, and the ability to provide the whole team with a generous dose of armor. Sound awesome? Well, she is. Brigitte is now available in the PTR for the PC version of the game, and guys, she feels really good. I have to play around with her some more, but I may have just found my new support main, no joke. The official release of the character is yet to be determined. Character transitions from the PTR to the live game can take about a couple weeks, depending on how much balance is needed, but I really don't feel like she needs a whole lot. The only thing is that I can see her passive healing being nerfed just a little bit, considering she also has those repair packs. That might be a little OP to some, but it's really not that much of an issue. Anyways, you can expect her to officially go live in a couple weeks. Finally, for the big story of the week, we move on to some conversations again about microtransactions, everyone's favorite topic. This week, we have an announcement from the ESRB, the Video Game Ratings Board for the US, and they will now be adding a warning label to games with in-game purchases, hopefully to educate parents in choosing a better game for their kids. 
I'm not so sure how effective this will be since almost every major release nowadays carries some kind of microtransaction system. But who knows, maybe it'll get publishers to finally reconsider the way they go about microtransactions. Sorry, I can't even read that with a straight face. I don't think this is really going to affect anything in the industry. This seems more like a stunt to keep the ESRB away from any kind of liability or backlash from parents. Sorry if that sounds cynical, but I suppose that educating the masses can't hurt. Anyways, are you excited for Detroit Become Human, Final Fantasy XV, Brigitte? And what do you think Bethesda will be bringing us this year? Let's discuss. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more gaming content right here on the channel. Thanks for watching, happy gaming, and I will see you all next time.